Since a house fire that happened days before last Thanksgiving in Pritchard, WKRG has been following the story of the Nod family. That tragic fire took the life of a three-year-old girl, injured a grandparent, and nearly took the life of an eight-month-old baby. Tonight, we want to share you with her story. And we want to warn you, the injuries were severe. Some of the images you're about to see may be graphic. But beyond that, this is a story of how a very young girl is battling some of life's most difficult challenges. Our Jacqueline Quinn sat down with the family. Talk about determination. This little girl has been through so much in her young life. She suffered burns so severe her parents say it was down to the bone. Yet today she's not only walking but dancing. And as you watch this story, one thing you'll realize is that she is a fighter. <laughs> At just five months old. Justice, what you said, Justice? Justice Nod was saying her first words. She's a fast learner. Today, her parents Ashley and Antoine Nod say Justice's intelligence is helping her overcome very difficult challenges. She was burned down to her bones. This house fire just a few days before Thanksgiving forever changed baby Justice's life. And a parent electrical spark in a bedroom spread flames quickly throughout the home. Justice was pulled out by a neighbor. Her grandparents also escaped, but her three-year-old sister, London, never made it. They didn't believe she was going to make it through the night. And she made it through the second night. They said, there's no way she'll make it to the third. And she made it to the third night, and then they walked in that room and said, this is a miracle, baby. This baby's going to make it. Baby Justice spent six months at the University of Alabama Birmingham Hospital recovering. She came home last month. Push it! Whoa! Push! Yay! She's now undergoing physical therapy at the USA Children's and Women's Hospital in Mobile. She went through a, a time where every touch was painful. Mm -hmm. And e even now, she, she still have areas, pain. open areas, mm -hmm. that sometimes she's in pain. She's had over 20 surgeries. That was actually just the beginning. That was just to get her to her well stage. With the help of a breathing tube, she's now able to take a lot of first steps. But she has to learn to chew and she has to learn to use them all because like my wife said she was still a baby she was drinking out of the bottle physicians and therapists say justice is making incredible strides we gotta bend those knees yes we do we gotta bend them and stand up good job her parents count each little step as a blessing. Hopefully, once she get all her motor skills back and her plastic surgery and all, she'll be able to go to school and just do normal things. Because, I mean, she's a normal baby. She just have an injury. More and more, things are progressing. Every time we walk out, hey, Justice. Hey, Miss Not Like, a lot of people know her. So she, you know, although, you know, of course, they're going to stare. But as the nods move forward, Justice's scars are a reminder of what's happened and the miracle in their lives. We know what she's been through, mm -hmm. so if anything, that's, that's what true beauty looks like in our eyes. Baby Justice is now 14 months old. Once she's able to breathe better on her own, her doctors expect her to make even better progress. But the road ahead still means a lot more surgeries. We'll continue to follow her story. For now, in the studio, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5. The Nods have only raised 4000 of their $15,000 goal. 